My mom is silent. She hates me. What's up? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Isn't that so nice? I know. It's nice. You can't use the uh, secret hand. Sophie is so <laughs> confused. Sophie is confused. Been waiting for days. Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to the live vlog. Listen, look at this dress. Can we get a commotion for the dress real quick <laughs> before I cover it up? It's like you're hiding something. <laughs> I gotta put on my ugly Christmas sweater. My Quizmas sweater. You're probably wondering, Stephanie, that doesn't even make sense. How is this a Quizmas sweater? <laughs> I'm missing my other half. Yes. It's Mr. and Mrs. Santa yeah, taking a sh I saw this browsing Amazon and a couple of other websites because I told everybody to wear ugly Christmas sweaters and people are downstairs and guess who showed up in ugly Christmas sweaters? Not one single person. But don't worry because I got a million of these. <laughs> and I'm going to put every single couple in one of these. Now, that's lame. That's not fun, right? Who cares about that? Did you guys know that my parents are divorced? Some people didn't know this, including his parents didn't know that my parents were divorced. And I thought weird. I was like, oh, you guys didn't know? Like, they don't act divorced? They act pretty divorced to me. Okay, so I'm gonna put my divorced parents in this all day. I told them, don't give me a Christmas present. This is my Christmas present Aww. I'm gonna ask of them. Before we do that, I just wanna say, it's Quizmas. Today we're actually doing a goal setting session with the whole family. I got like 25 different journals, one for everybody, a 2023 planner so that we can all plan all of our goals for 2023. And being on top of your finances is one of the hottest things you can do for the new year, for just life, especially as a woman, I think it's super important to have a clear picture of what's going on with your finances. Once I did that, it was such a freeing, independent feeling. This year, please, my hope is for everybody to take steps to be in more control of managing their finances, and it is so important. In fact, I feel like it's never been more important, and Rocket Money can help. Like, my fiance is so passionate about Rocket Money. We literally told everybody that's coming over to Goal Set today to get Rocket Money, because Rocket Money's whole mission is to improve the financial health of millions of people. So before the new year, one thing I've been recommending to all of our family is that cancel those random subscriptions that you just don't use that much. Cancel them. You're like, I don't even know which ones I have. Now I gotta go on their website. What if I forgot my password? Then I gotta like log in, find that cancel button that these, these people hide from you. Rocket Money will help you by canceling unwanted subscriptions. They will even lower your bills, set up budgets, monitor your credit, provide a holistic view of your finances all in one place. I think that's one of my favorite parts to get a bird's eye view of what's going on. Rocket Money is this all-in-one finance platform that helps you save more and spend less. We used it to cancel all of our unwanted subscriptions before the new year. I also, um, this is wild. I didn't think it would work, but it works. But I sent Rocket Money a picture of my bills and Rocket Money negotiated my bills for me. Like the bill they tell you how much it is, you can negotiate that. And I think just to have like an all-in-one budgeter, super important. You can even get an overview of visuals of how much you spend and earn by month, by quarter, by year, to make sure that you're more financially responsible. And Rocket Money is trusted by 3.4 million members and counting, including my fiance and literally mm -hmm. everyone downstairs. But make sure to check out rocketmoney.com slash missmango to start managing your personal finances today. That's rocketmoney.com slash missmango. Thank you Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video and for honestly dropping my bills, canceling my subscriptions, doing so much for me. And let's get in here, babes. Get in here. It's all nice and toasty. I tooted a little just for you. Get in here. Ow. I'm trying not to get your face in here and it's really hard when <laughs> This is romantic. This is so intimate. This is so romantic. <laughs> wow, this, this is, is actually cozy. Cool. Look at this. And we can do things together. Like shake hands, I bet. Like, like clapping. Let's, Honey, let's try to clap. You're telling me that we're inside the same Honey, shit and to... you want to clap? Yeah, you let's don't want to do other things? Someone just finished speech and we clap. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that's going to be left out is maybe Dan Dan. I feel so bad. But we got one for um all of them. Hide these in your shirt or something. Oh, yeah, now I'm pregnant. So we need to walk down there and we need to act like nothing crazy is going on. Okay, ready? Oh, you guys? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! We have presents for all oh, the customers! Oh, hello! Oh, hello! Oh, hello! Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, my God! They're lifting up my skirt! <laughs> Christmas is about family and about loved ones. Oh. So we want you guys to be connected. <laughs> 
<laughs> Tiffany Paul, come here. Oh my, in that box. She said no. Look at my dad grabbing something. Oh my, please. <laughs> please, oh my, please. I'm so alone now. <laughs> like, no, this is Just stick your hand out. My sister looks so unimpressed by this. <laughs> okay, can like, we see Andrew in there? Please, can you stick him in there? Big. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh, how do you guys feel? Isn't that so nice? I know. It's nice. Move, move around, guys. Move around. Yeah, like, guys. see how how can oh they? God, they brought the BMW. Right. Stop it right now! Wow! What, what is Jason gonna you say? You gotta run. You gotta run. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I haven't driven in months. I think I forgot how to drive. Does Sophie know how to drive this? No. Oh, look! This is working. <laughs> You can't use the uh, secret hand, guys. Yeah. No secret hand. No secret hand. Only, only two arms. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Sophie, so confused. Sophie is confused. <laughs> like really happy to be so close together. Are you so happy. <laughs> <laughs> now it's the time, the finale, <laughs> the finale of the two. They're so uncomfortable. My mom is silent. She hates me. <laughs> Please come into the sweater. Wow. It's like everybody hates each other, and we forced yeah. them into sweaters today. They're up. Wow. Thumbnail. Take a thumbnail. Before they kill each other. Guys, this is. Christmas photo! <laughs> Christmas photo! How about that? You do it right mom? now, the energy. Mm. You could get my parents a million dollars. Mm. Uh-uh. Mm. Uh -uh. But they were talking. They were like, like, talking. No, they were probably like, hey, you're so <laughs> <laughs> So we need a new title. So who wants to be divorced today? How about that, Mary? Okay, Dandana's like, listen, I want to try doing a push-up. Ready? Okay, go down. Whoa! One, get back up. <laughs> I like how she's sitting and he has to stand. <laughs> Kick the door open with her butt. Oh, whoa. whoa. This girl is crazy. That corn's gonna end up probably in a couch somewhere or something. <laughs> Is it good? It's so good. So we got bar barbecue stations out here. Wow, look at that. Damn, Jason, really efficient. Holy cow. Jason, 2023, we're gonna find you a girlfriend, okay? This is the goal of the year. You know how to do this, Anna? Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. All ready? Yeah. Oh, that sound is pretty good. Oh, Maybe yeah. you should season it. me using the viewfinder to see if I have lettuce in my teeth. Okay, this is the feast so far. It's not as intense as Thanksgiving because we have way less people, but I would say quality over quantity, I'm hoping. Okay, so we've got this chili chicken, woodier mushrooms, Chinese, Chinese food from the Chinese restaurant, yummy spicy. This is the boiled fish. We've got the Chinese broccoli, the noodles, and then I made coconut shrimp. We've got rice. So I ordered from um, Bolt in New York because everyone I talk to says it's the best Korean barbecue in the world and we've tried it a couple times at home and I liked it. So we have Goat barbecue with all of their pickled like veggies, the, the regular pickles, pickled radish, the pickled cauliflower, so good. We grilled some mushrooms. This is a chimichurri sea bass. And then these are Joe's pizzas. Why did I order New York pizza when I live in New York half the time? I don't know. <laughs> and then I just have to get the meat out. And I think that's everything. I just want to document Dan Dan's moment. Hey, this time? Yeah. Just one. Limit, just one? Just one today. Okay, let's count I, how many goes down today. Let's cue the footage from <laughs> last, last time. time. <laughs> Dan Dan's like, Christmas, no drinking. People thought I was crazy. He's like not even waking up and there's a child just running back and forth. Cheers, Dan Dan. Cheers. <laughs> it's gifting time! Woo! Should we start with Mia's? Merry Christmas, Mia! Merry Christmas! Do you guys know what's inside? No. Nugget. What's a nugget? Chicken nugget? I went 
on Reddit and I went on TikTok and they said this is the best thing for kids. It's the nugget. Ah, the nugget. It Yay. looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> That's for you, Sophie. What is it? What could it be? Oh. 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 Is she ripping it? Sophie, who is Look, Sophie. Brand new 2022. Zero miles on here. Oh! And you guys have a handle now. Yeah, we can push it. Wow. All right, let's go. Move out of the way. Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> I did run into the wall. <laughs> this is Tiffany's haul to my fiance. Nice. Look at his reaction. <laughs> Come on, this color. is. Wow. Oh, you can try it on right now. I like it. Oh, yeah. you look yeah. very good, honey. Wow. Oma's present. Orange, yeah. Wow. Thank you. For work. Yes. Bro. Merry Christmas. I'm gonna wear it right now. <laughs> oh, you oh, oh, you 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 we got Andrew at the wrapping paper duty. She said it Whoa, we got some Gucci sneakers. Merry Christmas, Jason. Yay! Oh. Good, nice, perfect. This is from me. Wow. <laughs> it's a pocket sweater. Oh, it's, it's perfect. perfect. Wow, a shirt. Wow, wow so many shirts. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh, the one that I was on. I'm going to get it for her. <laughs> Thank you. Andrew's definitely in his <laughs> fanny pack. <laughs> what do you think? It looks good, right? Oh, Dude, you look good. The color looks good. I Yes? This is from my sister oh, and Andrea. So oh, there's a note. It's not a note. It just says to you. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god, no. Oh, no. no. Wow. You guys are too much. We went to the oh store my god. in New York and he was obsessed with it. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, wow. oh my Thank you guys. Oh my god. I cannot accept this. <laughs> too much. Wow. Thank you guys. You look professional. I look professional. <laughs> one more gift for Jason. This one's from who? That one's from you. That one's from me. <laughs> Is it Adidas inside? No. Oh. Any guesses, Cindy? Oh, you want an iPad? What's inside? This is a joke. <laughs> I went and they didn't have it, but it's getting here on Tuesday. Oh my god! I got you the Alhambra bracelet. Wow! Oh, Bentley! Oh, you got me? Huh? Oh. Wow! Ah! <laughs> Benjo. Benjo. Oh my god! Oh, she's learning already. More presents. Oh my gosh, she knows. <laughs> she's like, next. Wow! You guys will be matching! Oh, wow. wow! And finally, my gift to Stephanie. Yay! Are you excited? Yeah. I've been waiting for days. I have been waiting oh my oh for my God. so long. Yeah. Wow. Skirt, skirt, get out the way. Oh my god, Mango is so confused. Mango is so confused. <laughs> it's the day after Christmas. Do you guys know what these are? I have a question. Is this an Asian household thing or do you guys have these in your house? What do you think you put this in? Your butthole, your nose hole, or your ear hole? You got one guess. Two seconds. Leave it in the comments right now. Is that really an Asian thing? 
Yeah, it's for your butthole. You stick it up there, you know when you have those poops that don't come out? Just give it a little nudge. You hook it in there and you scoop it. Scoop. People's actually gonna go okay, no, I'm just kidding. It's for your earwax, okay? This thing is so advanced, that's right, right? Yeah. Put that in. Reverse. It's got a reverse. Take me seriously, because we're about to have a serious conversation. Oh, on the topic of gifts, I have been wanting to talk about this story. <laughs> Because it's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to me in a really long time. So you know how it's Christmas and everybody gets a gift and you open the gift and it's like this cute little heartwarming moment of like, Oh my god, thank you so much. I got something for you and you got something for me. Let me tell you what happened on my birthday. So literally, the day after my birthday, on the 28th of November, we get a phone call that my fiance's parents are coming over to the house. They're like picking up some checks or something. It's got nothing to do with me. They show up and right before they come, I forgot what Tiffany was over for, but she's like, oh, by the way, like I need to help my mom wrap a present. And she was like, I need to go grab the wrapping paper. Where do you keep the wrapping paper? So I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. It's in the closet over there. So I get her the wrapping paper. His parents come over and I see that his mom is holding a Sephora bag and I'm thinking in my head, oh my God. Like, what did she get me from Sephora? So I sit on the couch where I was sitting, I'm doing my little work, and I see Tiffany helping her wrap the presents behind me in the little breakfast nook, and I thought that was a little bit weird, because you could definitely go to the other room to wrap my present. <laughs> I think we all know where this is going. <laughs> Like, what should my reaction be? Like, should I be over the top? No, that's weird. Should I open it in front of them? Or should I be like, thank you, thank you. No, you didn't have to. Thank you, thank you. And then open it later? Anyway, so they finished wrapping up the presents. And yeah, it, it went exactly as you expected. They said, freshly wrapped present. Okay, bye! <laughs> I just said, birthday party. So here's um, rule number one, just a little fun tip for people. Don't wrap presents at other people's houses because you never know if yesterday was their birthday. Back to Christmas. Yesterday I didn't vlog much because we did the little Christmas present opening, then we did our five year plans, and then we played the world's most intense game of Monopoly that ever existed. I have never seen my family like that. Okay, I wanted to talk about the five-year goals That's why I didn't end the vlog yesterday because it was actually a very eye-opening experience We do this every single year and I, I was like honey I want you to talk to them about it because I feel like it's the only thing that has helped my whole family every single year Set goals and I'm not like a goal setter. I don't know how to set goals until I met my fiance Here's my two cents about goal setting. It sounds dumb. It sounds like a fantasy land. It sounds like goals that sounds like a New Year's resolution. You should absolutely set goals. Start with a five year, then go down to a two and a half year, and then to a one year, and set like the craziest goals that you can ever think of. Like literally make it your dream life in five years. Because even if you're 80% there at the end of the five year mark, that's insane, that's incredible. And also make sure that your goals are emotional. Like don't make it just a career driven thing like make it emotional you yeah. want to attach emotion to a goal yeah so for example your goal is let's i want to make a hundred grand a year mm -hmm. and then add an emotion towards that okay making money is great but it's not emotional like no one looks at money and it's like that's emotional but it's like I so, want to buy my first house. Yes. I want to retire my parents. Like one of the goals, for example, is we want to buy like a beachside house. It's not about a beachside house, but we're thinking about we want to invite everyone in the family over and we're going to have these like beachside party with everyone on, on the beach. Like we're imagining these things that brings a big smile to our face. So these goals seems more emotional. It's a better goal than just something basic. Just yeah. a bunch of numbers. I want to lose like 10 pounds. Like that's not as good as I want to lose 10 pounds so I feel this way. So I feel healthier so I can yes. run a mile with my kids. Yes. Like something emotional. Yes, yeah. I feel better in the morning when I wake up, yeah. for example. So always attach some sort of emotion towards it. 
Like for example, one of my top 10 year goals, not five year goals, is to be able to buy my parents a small place in Korea. Because I feel like when you get old and you retire, they don't speak English and it's gonna be so hard for them to be independent when they're old. And knowing my parents, they will be so depressed without their independence. Like if they can't even drive a car, they can't call an Uber because they don't know English, they would go mad waiting around for someone to take them somewhere. So I'm like, I feel like they'll be a lot happier in Korea. So my 10 year goal is to get them like a small little apartment there so that they can go whenever they want. Yeah, just make it like emotion based goals and then think about that emotion all the time. And it just kind of drives you towards it. It just like pushes you. Anyway, enough seriousness. I need to end this vlog with something that I need to get out into the open because I was shocked at this. My social anxiety could never. We were in New York like a week ago before Christmas. We go to Gentle Monster in Soho. I try on a couple pairs of glasses. He tries on a pair of glasses and like this guy never looks good in sunglasses. I'm so sorry. I don't know why. You don't think so? Okay, sorry. <laughs> he tries on a pair of sunglasses and he looks so good in them. Okay, normally sunglasses, I feel like, I don't know, I've never seen a guy look good in sunglasses. Are you sure? I've literally never, I'm trying to think of one person where I was like, oh yeah, they look better with sunglasses on. I feel like sunglasses either make guys look too dad or they make him look like, I'm really trying. Like I'm really mm. trying right now. There's never really a good in-between where it's like, oh yeah, that guy cares about UV protection against his eyeballs. I don't know why, I don't know why. And then girls just look hot and everything. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so he tries on these sunglasses and I was like, oh wow, these are perfect. They literally don't make it look like you're trying too hard. They don't make it look like you're trying to be a badass. They don't look dad, they look so good. It, it almost made him look kind of like artistic, like a, like a weird guy in Soho that would have like a, art loft and they'd be like hey how much rent you play in new york city and then they would take you there and it's just like paint splatter everywhere that's what he looked like and i was really into it i was ready to like throw my pants off right so he tries it on and like i'm like yeah you look good we were with some two friends they're like yeah you look good so he takes a little selfie now this selfie was not a okay it was like a it was a <laughs> the word i could use to describe this selfie is smoldering <laughs> What? It's so moldering. So anyways, we come back to Atlanta. He's thinking about those sunglasses. <laughs> he won't stop thinking about them. Like out of nowhere. He, he looks over. Hey, I look good in those sunglasses, eh? I'm like, what are you talking about? So he goes on Gentle Monster's website, orders the sunglasses, bing, delivered like next day. I'm like, wow, that's fast. He's so excited. He opens it up, boom, tries it on. It's not right. It's just not right. It's not the right pair of sunglasses. It's such a slight difference, but that slight difference is a world of a difference. They're way too square. The the tint on them are way too black. Suddenly you look like you just tried on a whatever pair of sunglasses. You know what I mean? Like you just look like you went to any sunglass store, tried on the most generic pair of sunglasses. It just wasn't hot, right? So like, mm, I don't think you got the right one. We're comparing the pictures, not the right one. So he's like, I know what to do. I know what to do. And I was like, don't do it. I'm thinking he's going to email corporate. He's going to email gentlemonster.com. Hi, I was in your NYC location last week before the holiday season. Much, res much regard, Greg from Oklahoma. Like that's the vibe. <laughs> it's given like small town vibe, okay? Greg from Ohio. <laughs> Greg from Ohio. <laughs> And he goes, don't worry, I'm not gonna do it. And then all of a sudden I hear, ring, ring, ring. And he's on the phone. I'm like, who are you on the phone with? And he's like, gentle monster Soho. I'm like, what the? So I was there a couple days ago and I tried on a pair of sunglasses and I don't know which one it is. Can I send you a picture? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yeah, send us a picture. It's blah, blah, blah at gentlemonsterusa.com. The picture is sent. And like, I think I walked over there because I was like, oh, why isn't the email being sent? <laughs> If it were me, okay, if I had taken a picture, I would crop out the sunglasses. You would be sent this. This guy sent his smoldering selfie to the Gentle Monster team at Soho. Literally, this kind of selfie, okay? And then the worst part. No, there is a picture of me floating on there. <laughs> That's not even the worst part. Why didn't you crop it? And he goes, oh, I didn't even think of that. And I'm like, that's so 
weird. Why didn't you crop it? Like, now you're just gonna send them a picture of yourself? That's, and it's like this. Like, it's so weird, right? And he's like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, right? And right when he says it's fine, the guy on the line goes, hey guys, <laughs> do you guys think this is a Lonnie or a Tawny? Which one? And I hear like 10 voices, Alani! 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 <laughs> Yeah, we think it's Alani. I forgot what the name of the glasses are, but he was like, hey guys, and I heard like 10 voices chip in. At least it's a good photo. <laughs> I just can't believe the social anxiety. So I'm Greg from Ohio, huh? You're Greg from Ohio. I've never seen anybody do that before. Never in my what? life. And I thought he was gonna send it from like a dummy email. Sent it not from a dummy email. I'm like, Damn, this guy really wants Gentle Monster to know his name and know that he's hot. He said that's a good selfie. That's gonna be it for today's vlog. What did you guys do for Christmas? And what are you guys planning for the new year? I wanna know. What kind of emotional goals should we set? I feel like once in a while we should do like these. But you know, people think it's boring and lame, so. We do have some big events coming in the year. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Big plan. Let us know what you guys are doing for 2023. Like, what's the big plan? What are you guys doing for New Year's Day? Because we were talking about this goal setting thing and Andrew was like, hey, I'm gonna stop drinking in 2023, right? <laughs> and we were like, oh, that's a really good one. And my sister was like, hell yeah, you better write that down. And then we were like, okay, okay. And then he goes, yeah, so uh, New Year's Eve is gonna be my last day. And I was like, oh, but do you really wanna start the new year hungover, like January 1st? And he goes, no, I'm gonna be drinking all day January 1st. <laughs> Wait, what? And he goes, it's the new year. I'm like, what? Wait, what? Yeah, and then afterwards, I'm gonna stop drinking. And then five seconds later, he goes, you know, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. But he's got some good ones. That was not one of his good ones. Make sure to check out Rocket Money because in 2023, that should be a New Year's goal for everybody to like manage their finances better. Because even if you think you're managing it well, I'm sure that you are, Rocket Money really does help. Like just having a bird's view of, I yeah. highly, highly recommend. Yeah. So make sure to check out Rocket Money, linked in the description. And I hope you guys had a merry, merry Christmas and a happy holidays and you stayed warm. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.